Hey guys, all right, um, bear with me. I don't have a setup tonight, really. I'm still at the cabin until tomorrow, so, but I did want to get you guys a reading really quick because I have been MIA this weekend. I hope you guys have had a wonderful weekend. This is going to be a general collective reading, okay? It doesn't matter what your sign is. Um, and as always, guys, just take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? Don't try and make it fit if it does not. Oh, I'm pulled to these. All right, let's see what Spirit has for y'all tonight. Spirit. I'll be uploading these tomorrow, by the way. Unfortunately, I don't have a very good signal here. So I can record, but I can't really upload. And as you can see, I'm on my bed here. <laughs> All right, so you're getting some kind of good news here is what it looks like. It might be something that really encourages you here. Honestly, it looks to me like some kind of blessing that's coming your way. What is this about, Spirit? Wow, what the heck? There is something here. Hmm. Some of you guys might be at some kind of retreat or something like that, or you could be working with a spiritual teacher. That could be you as well. Some of you guys could be heavily in prayer right now, trying to um, bring some manifestation into fruition. I feel somebody that is very devout, though, in terms of their connection with source is what it looks like here. And it's really stepping into a different space in their life as well. I feel like you could be feeling lighter here. This is a card about humanness, right? It's about goodness. It's about morality in a sense, okay? Somebody, somebody might be getting a blessing due to, I feel like it has something to do with what what somebody did for somebody else. If you did like a good deed for somebody else or something like that, maybe you're getting some blessing. If you constantly do stuff like that, or if you're a compassionate, loving individual who helps others, there may be some blessing that's coming your way as a result of it. Wow, look at this. Alliance. See, you are. Whoever I'm talking to is a very honest, trustworthy person is what I feel. Someone may want to align themselves with you, build some kind of alliance with you, join forces with you in a sense. Wow, look at this. But in order to do that, it looks to me like there has to be some death here. Okay, I just got a death in Saturday's reading as well. I feel like this is inevitable. This has to happen. Something has to happen here for you to kind of push forward here. There's some kind of ending that has to happen. Hmm. Let me see this card. Mm -hmm. Because something you've been attached to has been a bit harmful for you is what I'm getting. I don't know what that means. Harmful. Why has it been harmful? Oh, wow. Because it's kept you feeling very confined. It's kept you feeling captive in some way, even in your own head. Okay, forgive my cat. <laughs> I'm sure he's going to make his way into the camera. I apologize. Um, this is really interesting. I can read, I'm going to keep going because I could definitely read this a couple of different ways here. This could also be about people coming to get used to my cat. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, he has been asleep this whole time, so I guess it's time for him to get up and wander around a little bit more. So this is really interesting here. I'm wondering if something is ending for someone here who has tried to create some kind of harm in your life, but it looks to me like if so, it's ending in some kind of confinement here. Somebody losing their freedom. You might be getting news of this. This is very interesting. You might be getting news of this, and this could feel like a big blessing to you. Now, if you've been involved in some kind of lawsuit or anything like that, these could be people that you've been in some kind of alliance with, that you've built some kind of alliance with, something like that. You could have delivered some kind of truth, obviously, in a courtroom as well. There's something about that, but I don't know. I almost feel. Uh, I definitely almost feel. Somebody here is interested in, in you and your well-being. 
almost feel like somebody is forming an alliance with you or wanting that. And this could be, why do I feel like somebody's been working on dealing with someone else legally? Is somebody working on a case where they're dealing with someone legally, where they're about, where they're about to lock someone up? It looks to me like it's going to end in some kind of confinement. Someone's going to jail. Someone's, yeah, I think they're going to jail. And I think it has to do with some kind of harm that was done or some kind of harm that could have been intended for another individual, unfortunately. I feel like somebody is, okay, I don't know who this is, but I feel like somebody is watching you. I'm going to go on and pull these cards because this almost feels like an investigative kind of thing. Someone's been watching you or keeping an eye on you while... This would be like if I were like an FBI agent or something. I've been working on a case and you were not really privy. Maybe you weren't privy to it. Or you weren't fully in the loop about. You're about to get some news about something. I'm going to tell you. Look at that. You can't, you can't make it up. Somebody wants to build an alliance with you. You're going to view this as some kind of blessing. They've been, okay, this is definitely somebody that's been watching you. Somebody wants, you're about to get a lot of communication about something, and it's going to be good news for you. You're going to feel like whatever is coming through is going to be very encouraging. You could feel like it's a freaking miracle, okay? And it has to do with some kind of new start here, some kind of new passionate start. This is around a relationship. I'm just telling you, somebody could have been wrapping up some kind of court case or something that puts somebody behind bars. That's what I feel. I do feel somebody here could definitely be going to jail. Wow, no wonder. Look at that. They could have been trying to create some kind of death for you, honestly. There's the death card right there. You know, look at this card. She's pointing to a burial. You see the cross coming up after the bear out of the burial here. It doesn't have to be that way, but it could definitely be something like that. I'm telling you, something's happening. The road, whatever this is, it is opening this road wide open for you. If you've been fighting a battle with someone you didn't think you can get out of, especially if it's been spiritual attacks or something like that, you some that's ending. That's clearly ending, but it's it's more than that tonight. I don't know why I'm feeling it so strongly tonight. I feel like somebody's been working on your behalf, but I don't know who this is. I do think that this is somebody that's been heavily invested in this situation and maybe in you. I mean, this is a person hanging on to someone here, right? Someone, something. This could also be a person that's been very frugal, person that's been holding back information, a lot of information here, trying to be strategic about a situation. Why do I feel like you've been protected? Somebody's protecting you or trying to protect you, trying to keep you out of something. It may have been a big battle. Oh my God. Yeah. Look at this. You see this, right? It's a chalk outline. Well, we know what that is. Okay. What is that called? A 187 or something like that here in the States. I think that's the code for it. But this is really crazy. Okay. So. I honestly, I have so many emotions around this tonight for some reason that it's not even about the cards. It's just, it feels to me more emotional, more intuitive. And maybe you're going to feel that way as well. You've definitely held yourself. It's interesting because you've been gaining merits with whoever this is. Like they've been just watching you. That's what I feel. They've been seeing, uh, there's something here definitely about your humanness, about how how good you are, how devout that you are, something like that. They may have known that someone else was trying to create some kind of harm for you in your life. And they may have been working that out now. This could have also been someone that you were with. I don't know, because look, this person could be holding on to you. All right. 
This could be about the person that was holding on so tightly to you too. I definitely think that you're about to get some really, really good news about something. Somebody that was a perceived threat in some way or another is out of the picture, is out of the way and possibly in prison. Like that is over. That's done with. This person could have been interfering in a lot of things. Look at this page of swords. I'm telling you, I told you somebody's watching you. Somebody's been keeping their eye on you. I think this may be making a decision. I knew it. I knew it. I knew that was coming out. I was, I just started to say, I think this could be about love, about a relationship. Somebody could have been interfering with your relationship in a big way. Yep. In a big way. Somebody could have been, <laughs> this is crazy. Ten of Cups. Look, at this. Look, this is about love. This is about somebody who loves you and loves you a lot. Who feels like you're their partner, you're their counterpart. Okay. This is somebody that could have been in a situation or knew that other people were trying to involve themselves in a situation that had to do with you. That had to do with, with your situation here. You know, this, whatever this was, whatever this conflict was, could have left you out in the, in the cold at one time. And then maybe even created some kind of ending. I think you have somebody here that's been working behind the scenes, maybe to get information. I'm getting the number seven. Not sure what that's about. So, okay. Now I heard six. That's really weird. 76 maybe, or the number six, the number seven, something like that. Maybe that's years, months days maybe that's birthdays i don't really know but what i am getting somebody has really been strategic here trying to get someone out of the picture and i feel like into some kind of legal trouble i definitely feel legal trouble around this that was trying to harm you or harm some kind of situation here this person has not stopped watching you. And I feel like this person feels like the road is open now to pursue you or to talk to you or to do something like that with you. Because this death has finally occurred. Someone's finally out of the picture. They want to have some kind of new start here, passionate new start here, because they've never let go of this situation they've been holding on very tight and it looks to me like they've actually made you know they're they've made a decision notice that that's a wand hanging over that and it's pointing direct towards this uh this decision here on the right here i feel like somebody had to clear something else up that they did not want to involve you with now if you were being attacked in some way you probably already know that but they did that because they love you, okay? And it's a very deep love. I don't think they saw the truth in this situation. That's what I just got. I don't think they saw the truth in this situation before. This person has been defending you, okay? They've been defending you. They've been defending you. Maybe even, maybe they've been going through some stuff like this as well. This could be crazy people around them. This could be their family. This could be an ex. This can be anything. Maybe they feel like they have been defending you. Okay. Trying to keep you out of harm's way in some way here. I do feel here that this person you know, they view you, they have a lot of love for you, a lot of romantic feelings for you as well, okay? And they could even want a family with you or feel like you're their family in some way. Now, I want you to look at these cards. There's a lot of, there's death, ten of swords, there's betrayal. You know, then we have the death card here, we have the death card here, we have confinement here. We have a lot going on here. But the initially, the card started with, you're about to get a blessing, you're about to get good news about a blessing that is coming into your life. And this is someone who feels, look, this is a person with their dog, okay? A dog is man's best friend, right? They could feel like you're their best friend. Maybe you guys are best friends. They've seen you. 
stay devout. They've seen you stay loyal. They've seen you show goodness and mercy, okay, throughout whatever has happened here, okay, morality even. And I feel like this person has been working, doing something here, all right, trying to clean this up. Okay, there is definitely some kind of betrayal here that a person was aware of. It happened is this Queen of Cups energy here, very loving, compassionate individual, very intuitive as well. Okay, that could also be very wise. Maybe this person is sharing wisdom as well. Mm -hmm. These answers that maybe you've needed or wanted have been coming to you very, very slowly. I think it's because somebody's been working behind the scenes in some way on your behalf here. But now, look at this. Now, somebody could actually feel like they're at your mercy here, okay? This could also be someone that you, you had to be kind of hardcore with and kind of cut out of your life in a sense. I feel like this person, I mean, I'm just going to say it. I'm not making excuses, but I feel like they had someone around them that was quite dominant, manipulative in a way, very, very controlling. Wanted to keep things moving very slowly. I think they were trying to keep this person stuck, actually. This person could be this Queen of Pentacles, this King of Pentacles. Okay, so you could be dealing with a Earth sign here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Mm hmm. Yeah. Somebody's trying to, I, I think this is reuniting. That's what I get from it. Somebody is trying to reunite with you. And this is somebody here that could be in this King of Pentacles energy. This card is definitely coming out upright. Most of them are tonight, which is weird. Um, but I think they know that somebody was trying to slow them down. Somebody was definitely controlling the situation for a long time. It's weird because this person is sitting here on the leash and this, this woman in her heels has him, has the leash kind of, um, yeah, tied down to the ground while it's actually being held down with the heel here. She definitely has control of this situation. She's pointing her finger as though to reprimand him. This is a person that felt like someone else had some kind of control over them. I'm not sure why or what that's about or who this is. Maybe it's a boss or I don't know. So this person may actually be moving forward as well or trying to move forward here, trying to have some kind of reconciliation here. Now, this could also be someone that you found yourself in a third party with in the past, just for the record. Yeah. Mm hmm Okay. Four of Wands, Queen of Wands. Uh-oh. Hello. The Hierophant, yeah, I got that as soon as I saw the Four of Wands. Will of Fortune. Nine of Wands. This could be somebody a little bit younger than you. Justice, I told you. Look, somebody's been, I don't, I don't even think you know this. Somebody's been wrapping up something behind the scenes. And I think it's more than just their situation. I think they had someone in their life that was maybe doing things to you or trying to harm you, or trying to keep you back, trying to control this person in some way, shape, or form. Okay, this could have been someone that they were married to, but that's not what I'm getting. I get somebody here is looking at wanting some kind of higher commitment here with this um, this very attractive energy here that could be very fiery and kind of exuberant, okay? Someone who's kind of going after their dreams at this time. They want to have the will turn in their favor, they want to have things beginning to flow in the right direction here. Somebody could be coming towards you lightning fast here in this nine of wands energy. They could be driving in. They could have a convertible, okay, or a sports car. They could be coming in very fast, very passionately here as well. After getting some kind of justice, okay. This, I'm t okay. <clears throat> this is hard for me to say because, you know, I like people to be so accountable. But I'm telling you, the cards 
and the emotions in this reading are what they are. Somebody felt somebody has some kind of control over them. And the way that she has him, that's like domination. Okay. I have complete control over what's going on. So what were they doing that was illegal that had some kind of domination? Maybe they were doing some kind of illegal acts and someone had this person, right? Because they had the control because I know what you did. All right. I'll spill it to the world. Something like that. I think this person has been getting out of something or trying to get out of something here with another individual that they knew was trying to create some kind of problems here. And there must be some kind of evidence here because somebody here is getting confined. Somebody here is out of the picture. Okay, let me see what else this is about. Uh, let's go into this spirit. What else do we have? What does the collective need to know here? Actually, let me see. Let me see if I can get any more on your person here, or I should say this person. Maybe it's your person. Let's see. This is someone who's daydreaming. That was in Sag's reading, too, in case you're a Sag or have that highly aspected in your ch chart, or maybe you're dealing with one that says, I'm always longing for you. So this is someone who watches you heavily. They've been longing for you. Reunion. They want a reunion. We will always come back to each other. This is someone who feels very devoted to you. You're their best friend, okay? You're the person that gets them. Okay, I'm going to, I have too many cards here. I have like four, let's see, four cards here. So I'm going to, I'm going to, okay, well, that one flipped right back over. Sabotage. I mess up the good things in my life, okay? So this is someone who definitely could have done something here to sabotage the relationship. Let me see, I thought one flipped. No. Soul tie. I always feel connected to you. This is somebody who could have sabotaged the relationship in the past year. I don't know how. I'm sure that you will probably. This is somebody who could have definitely sabotaged the relationship here and created some issues. This person has been in a situation or definitely had someone around them that was very, very controlling. But oddly enough, I feel like whoever this individual was, this Queen of Swords energy, I feel like they felt like this person, it's not just control. I feel like this person did, she she had something on them. I say she because she come up in as feminine energy, but she had something on them that kept them in control here. Yeah, I have intimacy issues or I have trouble with intimacy. That's what led to the self-sabotage. Yeah, but I feel the sexual tension here. And I'm waiting patiently. Maybe somebody here is waiting or has been waiting. I miss seeing you. Just kind of missing you. Daydreaming about you in some way. About some kind of reunion here. Maybe this is someone who feels like hopefully you will make your way back to them in some way. Yeah, because they feel so drawn to you is what I'm getting right here on the bottom. Um... I don't know. I see. Do I still have a chance? I'm not over you. And then there's a value issue here, though. This person may not feel like they're up to par with who you are here in terms of the values. Somebody here definitely, I don't know if they have a house with someone or maybe they have a life with someone. Um, they have, you know, joint assets with someone. They definitely have someone in their life that I feel like is a big, I almost said a threat. I don't know why this person is a threat, but look at this. I think that's ending. I mean, I really do think that that's ending in some way. So, and not in a good way. What else, Spirit? There's that garden. Okay. So, again, this is about reunion. It's about things growing. Sweetness coming back into a situation. Someone really wanting to, you know, be allied with you. Somebody here that wants the sweetness again that you guys used to have. Um... Yeah, look at this. Wow. They want to cooperate. They want you two to work together to be able to cooperate here. They feel, um, I, I just think they really want a second chance here. That's what I get with the Clover card, okay? We also saw the Wheel of Fortune as well. Wow, this person's learned a lot. Maybe they've gained a lot of knowledge being away from you, okay? 
Maybe a lot of secrets have been revealed about what was happening here as well. They just want another opportunity. That's what I'm getting here. I have Pisces, Sagittarius, Virgo, and Libra here. Yeah, look. They've gained a lot of knowledge about this freaking snake, okay, in the camp. The person that was doing the deceitful things here. There could have been cheating as well here, but they're feeling like someone here has been a snake and they deliberately try to create some kind of setback, maybe for the two of you. This is Scorpio energy out of some kind of envy here. And it looks to me like a loss was actually caused here. I'm telling you, somebody's going to tell you this. They're going to tell you this. This is okay. This is the person who may have always had big plans for you guys. Okay. I see Taurus energy here as well in Gemini. They could have always had plans for you. They could have wanted to marry you at one time. Okay. But this is definitely someone who thinks about having some kind of commitment with you. Wow. I feel very strongly connected to this reading for some reason. And I think it has to do with. I feel like you could, you guys could have been on your, on the path to having something much deeper than what you had. And someone came in and kind of tore that apart with these shenanigans. And I feel somebody has gained some kind of proof about that. And I think it's been a fight because you know, I'm already going to say this is energetic. I can, it's all over the cards. Unfortunately, I can't just get away from it. Okay. They know. Whoever they were dealing with, this Queen of Swords energy was a snake, okay? The, definitely a snake out to be deceitful, trying to create the loss here, trying to get you out of the picture. I definitely feel that. I think this person wants to send some kind of letter or some kind of message here. They want to talk. They want to communicate here in regards to that. So I don't know if you've moved on thinking this person has never had feelings or... They just, you know, they weren't man enough or woman enough or whatever to carry through there. I don't really know what the story was in this situation, but I'm telling you, there was some more stuff going on. And I, why do I feel like your person was in denial? I feel like somebody here was in denial about this for a very long time. Let me get some story cards just because I love them. Okay, well, that is definitely I got the spread card. <laughs> I think that's what we need all right give me story cards on this spirit what do you want the collective to know all right we have kindred so you guys could definitely be kindred spirits okay you could be soulmates you could be you know two that just feel very connected yeah opportunity meditation this might need that this may be something you need to go within and really think about um, take your time with it meditate on it really connect with spirit with source on because somebody's about to bring you an opportunity here they want to nurture you okay uh, I'm seeing at the top that this is actually a blessing or that you're gonna feel like it is a blessing here this could be somebody that loves nature here I see nature boy this could be somebody who loves the outdoors somebody who spends a lot of time in nature you could be this person as well look at this yes so yes the answer to this is yes I don't know if you want to dig into this situation but it looks to me like, yes, this is, this is a blessing. This is good news. Okay. someone has been watching you and they see that you've managed to stay above everything else here. Okay. Above the fray, despite everything that's been, maybe despite things that have been kind of happening here. They may have thought that you were the best. I don't know what happened here, but the, the control that I feel in this situation, which is crazy. Okay. Maybe this person felt like you were the bad person before, and now they can see that that's not the case. I do think this was a third party situation. Mm -hmm. Seeking. All right. I think someone is seeking to, to, well, first of all, I see meditation and seeking. So you could be seeking out information, seeking out knowledge. I feel like this person's been doing that. I think they've been looking for answers. I think they've been trying to get all the pieces to the puzzle because it never set right with them. It just never set right with this person. And now they know. 
now they know kind of what has happened. I don't know how they know, but I feel like now they know. And look, all of this love is now kind of reappearing, coming back to the surface. Okay. I think in a really, um, I don't know. I feel like this is a very, very deep connection. I don't know if six or seven. I know I said that before. Maybe that does have something to do with it. I don't know. I don't know. Just take it as it resonates here. I usually get this emotional during readings, but it's just it's coming through like that. All right, let's see. I might get a few of these. Spirit, what else for the collective, please? We might 30 minutes. That's how you I'm gonna upload tomorrow, right? Not today. Yeah. So this is about you. So you could definitely be a pioneer in spirit. Um, this person, this could be a card about just bravery. All right. Um, somebody being very brave. For some reason, why didn't they want you? It's funny because they feel allied to you in some way, but they didn't want you in the middle of this. It's almost like a protection kind of thing here. They didn't, def wow, this person didn't defend you before. That's what I just heard. So they didn't defend you before. And it's almost like they wanted to make sure everything was taken care of now. Maybe something you said had this person digging as well. Something did not sit right with them. Somebody can, could be a fire sign. Okay, but again, this is a card about confidence. I think, it, okay, so we saw the Queen of Wands energy here. Somebody could be coming across very confident and optimistic here, okay? Very passionate, very brave as well. This could be the person coming towards you as well. Have Cancer energy here, but this is definitely an energy of protection. It's an energy of um, nurturing something else, bringing someone comfort, wanting to comfort another individual here. Yeah, listen. Whatever you guys have, there's so much emotion around this, and that is why I'm feeling it. We have water here, okay? So that is all about intuition. It's about compassion. It's about a lot of emotion, and it's about a spiritual connection, okay? This, this runs deep, and I feel like you've been in an impasse with somebody here that has been doing their own little investigation or something, Something has triggered this person to look for answers, and I think they're looking at the people closest to them here. Yeah, this could be people that they went way back with. This is the third house here. Okay, so this is, I don't know why they discounted. I feel like they discounted this situation or discounted something you said before, and I think it has to do with the third party situation. If they got caught with you and they were stepping out on a marriage or vice versa, I don't really know what happened here, but the third party was definitely introduced to the situation. I think this person just tried to rationalize here, especially if you told them something was wrong, someone was interfering, they should they just rationalized it, okay? Um, as where well, you're just angry or something like that, or that doesn't make any sense. You're just saying that you're talking nonsense because, you know, I'm back with my person or my wife or something. It's something like that. Okay. But I'm telling you, that's, that's not holding. And whatever they have been doing, I think, wow, talk about freaking karma. I think this is going to be devastating or is devastating to the person who is around them. Somebody's, somebody has found some kind of evidence is what I feel here. Yeah, and it's creating some kind of radical change here with Uranus here. Yep. And I'm telling you, they're about to communicate with, they're about to communicate regarding it. Okay. They're about to talk regarding this with that Mercury energy. Somebody could be bringing you information regarding something that happened, some kind of truth. You could be receiving it in a document as well. This is a person that's going to want to try to clear something up, open some road back to you if they can, or at least open up the doors of communication is what I'm feeling here. Yeah, they've been watching you. They've definitely been watching you. They know that you're not the bad guy, okay? Somebody could have presented you as the bad guy. They know you're not the bad guy here. Okay, guys, I think I'm just going to leave it there, honestly. That's what I have for y'all. I'll try to get a re If I don't get one back in tomorrow because I am traveling, I'll definitely try to get one out for you guys Tuesday, okay? Have a wonderful evening. Bye.